In this video, we're going to take a look at Fluent SMTP. This is a free plugin to connect a service like Fluent CRM to an email sending service like Amazon SES, the simple email service, or perhaps Google Gmail or Workspace. And there's some other providers available in there too. You want to be able to use these services so you have good open rates, good send rates, and a good reputation for your email. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about a little walkthrough of how to set up the plugin and go through all of the reasons why this is really an important step and why it's so nice that WP Manage Ninja gave Fluent SMTP to the community for free. Hi, my name is William Beam. I'm with Suburbia Press, and I'm a small businessman, just like you, and we're here to help small business people build their online platform so they can take care of their customers and understand all the technology that goes behind it. So one of the parts of that is having a good customer relationship management and email service provider. And that's why I've chosen Fluent CRM. I've used different services like ConvertKit. I've tried other WordPress CRMs and I found that this one is the best one. And it's got a good development team. They're growing, they're adding things all the time. And it's something I can recommend. If you decide that Fluent CRM is right for you, I do have a 20% discount coupon code. It is my last name, Beam, B-E-E-M. I will make sure to put that inside of the description for this. But for now, let's take a look at what is Fluent SMTP and why do you need Fluent SMTP and how are you going to install Fluent SMTP? So to start with, Fluent SMTP is what connects Fluent CRM or another uh, email service on your WordPress site to an email sending service like Amazon SES or Gmail or some of the other ones. The reason you want to use these providers is because they're geared for sending bulk email. Your WordPress system may have an SMTP where you can send off little one or two messages at a time, but it's not designed and it doesn't have the reputation for sending bulk email. What will happen is likely two things. One, you'll get a lot of spam for your customers' inboxes rather than having a good reputation where it goes to their inbox. Two, you may get shut down by your WordPress hosting provider because they are not set up as a bulk email sender. So the services we're talking about are there for bulk email. So whether you have 100 people on your list, 1,000, 50,000, 100,000, whatever the size of your list, you need to work with a bulk email provider. And that is what Fluent SMP does. It manages the relationship between Fluent CRM and those bulk providers. All right, so I'm here in the dashboard and we've just set this up in the previous videos. What I need to do next is configure this to work with Fluent SMTP. Now there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can come over here to plugins, say add new plugin, and we can go search plugins and just type in Fluent SMTP. I always get the M and the T backwards. And there it is, so you can go ahead and install it right now. An easier way to do this is if you're already in your dashboard with Fluent CRM, is you'll notice over here, Fluent SMTP, see is, and it says, looks like you did not install it yet. So we'll just click this button. It'll take you here, and it'll show you some of the providers that you can use. Notice that it says, any SMTP provider. If you're not familiar, SMTP simply stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. So we we'll go ahead and click on this, and it's gonna install the plugin for us. And you see, we get a notice over here that everything's been done. And the next thing you want to do is click this button to configure Fluent SMTP. So this is your first choice. Which provider do you want to use? I've used Amazon SES in the past. Google Workspace, and you can see that it also says Gmail. This is something that is relatively new as of the time I'm recording this in June 2021. They just put this in in a previous release. And... Let's go ahead and click on that one. We're going to look at kind of the same thing for all of these. And I'm not going to go into the specific steps of how to configure your API key for Google or Amazon, but I am going to show you where you're going to find that information because it's been cleverly provided by the nice folks at WP Manage Ninja who make Fluent SMTP. So you can see right here, they say, check the documentation first or watch a video tutorial. And that's going to show you exactly step-by-step how you get this information. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. And you can see the documentation opens. There's a nice table of contents. The video is right there to walk you through how to do it. But if you prefer to read, you can see that 
everything from here's the screenshot where you were. You can add a connection. And this is where I said that you can have multiple connections. It's going to show you the screen that we were just on. And now the important part is how to get the API key in secret. So this is the URL you need to go to, console.cloud.google.com, if you've chosen Google as your provider. And step by step, it shows you screenshots. It tells you what to do. Notice they've got arrows and red boxes around what you need to do. It is dead simple to configure this. And keep in mind, when you're configuring this, you only need to do this part once. Once you've made your configuration with an SMTP provider, it's stored in Fluent SMTP, you don't have to go back and worry about doing it again. And step by step, it's going to show you where you click, what options you make. It'll show you, you may have more than one SMTP connector, for example, inside of Google. So it shows you where you choose which one you're going to be working with, how to choose your project, enable the API, and on down the line. So I'm not going to go ahead and go through this in detail. But one of the things I do want to show you is let's say that we chose Amazon SES. There's documentation down here. It's not quite in the same place, and it gives you the same step-by-step -step thing, though. Amazon SES, in my opinion, is a bit of a bugger to try and configure if you haven't done this before. And that's because Amazon just has a horrible web interface. And I'm going to show you, this is, again, step-by-step. -step. There's the URL that you want to go to and what you're looking for. And this is an example of the horrible web interface. So look at this. There are so many choices. If you don't know what you're looking for exactly, even if you do know what you're looking for, it's kind of hard to find it sometimes. But they're showing you right up here. This is where you go to for your console. And you can see exactly where you select everything. And it's doing it from scratch. So it's assuming that you don't have an account already with Amazon or with uh, or how to create one. So you can make your username. You can set your author authorization type. And it goes through again, step by step, with screenshots, with arrows, telling you exactly what you need to do. That's all you need to do is once you get that API key created, you're going to say, this is coming from this email address. Here's my name. Here is the access API key, the secret key. With Amazon, one thing you want to pay attention to is the region. You notice there are two regions for US East. There's two regions for US West. And of course, there are regions for the EU and, and various uh, countries throughout the world. The reason I say to pay attention, don't just think U.S. East. You need to make sure that you remember if you're in North Virginia or Ohio, because it's easy to get confused. You do something on North Virginia, then you forget, then you go back and do something in Ohio, and you wonder why things don't work. Make notes, keep them in a nice, safe, secure place. Make sure you understand which region you've selected. It'll avoid some headache for you in the future. Now, if you don't remember, or you go to one of these and you say, I don't know exactly where to look, Come up here, click on Docs. So we've already gone through how to install Fluent SMTP. They have links to all of those documents that we looked at, plus for the other providers that we talked about. And if you want to do it with any other um, host or mailer that's using SMTP. So Mailgun, Send in Blue. We have our Amazon up here. Google, as I said, was the newest one. Also, there's a document over here in case you want to use multiple SMTP drivers with Fluent SMTP. Maybe you need a backup. Maybe you want to do marketing emails with one system and transactional emails with another. So there's reasons for having different uh, providers inside of your Fluent SMTP configuration. Come over here to support, and you can see that you've got articles for support. There's Facebook communities. And, of course, there's a little sales plug-in here for <laughs> Ninja Tables, which I do have, and I enjoy it. But that way you've got access to see where you can get support. I haven't got any email logs yet because I haven't connected with a provider or sent any emails. This is just a demo site. But also there's a place here to test so you can see are your emails going through. If there's a problem where you're not configured properly, it'll let you know. And of course, back here to the settings is where you get started. So I hope that helps you understand why Fluent SMTP, a free plugin, is a very valuable asset, one you need to use with Fluent CRM. If you decide that Fluent CRM is right for you, I'll have a link below for where you can buy it and a coupon code, which is the same as my last name, Beam, that will save you 20% on whatever package you buy. This is what I use on all of my sites. I've used other software as a service tools like AWeber and ConvertKit. I've used other WordPress CRMs. This one really is the best one, and it's growing. 
I can see that not only are more people joining into this, which is a good thing for the community to make sure the developer is afloat, but the developers are actively working and they're adding things all the time. For example, this Google interface. It was something that was requested on the Facebook forum, and then I see that it's been added in here. So they are paying attention to their community. They're developing things that the community requests, and it's really helping everything out. So I, I really do like Fluent CRM. I hope that it's something that is valuable for you. That's all I wanted to share in this video. We'll have future videos coming up on other facets of Fluent CRM, and I hope you'll stay tuned for those. If you like this video, please go ahead and click the like button. That lets YouTube know if I'm doing something right, and they'll share this with more people. Subscribe, and you'll see other videos that I come out with. If you click that little bell notification icon, it'll give you a notice and says Superbia Press YouTube channel has a new video out for you. I do have some other topics. Again, we're here to support small businesses, online entrepreneurs who know their industry, but might need a little bit of help with some of the technology to support it online. So if you have questions, let me know in the comments below. I'd be happy to help you out. Thanks so much. I'll see you in the next video.